हाय मैं मनाली दलवी तो हमने देखा था कि बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस को कैसे लिखते हैं तो आज हम लोग देखने वाले हैं कि ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग क्या होता है और उसको हम लोग कैसे यूज करते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट Now it has many properties. It has properties like encapsulation, data abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, message passing, etc. Are these are the concepts that we are going to learn slowly, slowly in the next few sessions. But today we are going to begin with something called as classes and objects. Now we have done something called as uh, structures in C. Now what do you mean by a structure? A structure is a collection of multiple data types. Now when I say data types, if you have n number of functions. and these functions require data type you cannot initialize every time regularly so you can create a structure and you can place them all into it so when the function requires them he can take it one by one it's the same concept here when i say classes classes is a collection of data types and member functions so data types is nothing but uh, different types of data that you are going to work on with that is nothing but and different types of member functions that you can work on that is your different functions that you can work on so a class is a collection of all of them so it is kind of a template it is kind of a blueprint that will have all the data into it now when i say a class a class is always been defined using a keyword called as class open and closing bracket and this open and closing bracket will always have a semicolon semicolon that this is a type for class and it is always a user defined type like how structures denoted by a semicolon here the classes are also been denoted by a semicolon when i say objects ऑब्जेक्ट्स मतलब क्या होता है कि जो यहाँ पर मैंने क्लास में लिखा है वो क्लास के फंक्शंस को मुझे बाहर यूज करना है देन आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इट एज अ ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स में होता था स्ट्रक्चर्स में हम लोग ऑब्जेक्ट बनाते थे वो ऑब्जेक्ट में हम लोग को डेटा वेरिएबल्स को कॉल करते थे लाइक मैन आई से एक्स डॉट ए so x is nothing but my object of structure a is the variable that i have defined in the structure like that we are going to create for object as well so object is nothing but called as your instance of a class so what do you mean by instance instance matlab it has a collection of a kind of a state and behavior and the different attributes like for example if i have a cat so cat becomes my class so what are the different objects or matlab what are the different data types with it so you can say the name of the cat the breed of the cat the color of the cat becomes a different data type that is the attributes and then i say the state state is nothing but the behavior what it is actually doing is it eating is it sleeping etc becomes the behavior so even a class has different attributes and it has different functions so we can call it using an object an object always using a period operator that is a dot operator to call any of a member variable or it can call any member functions from a class so this is nothing but you are going to work on classes and objects henceforth in your cpp so when i say that always remember classes are always private in nature when i say private in nature they are always confined to one particular thing so they are confined only within its class within its scope of the class if i have to use anything outside the class then i have to make the class as public so we are going to use different access specifier we have three types of access specifier namely private public and protected so when i say private private matlab kya hota hai jo apne class mein hi hoga wo class ke bahar ja nahi sakta usko hum log kya bolenge private when i say public i have to use it outside the class then i'm going to use it as my public access specifier and next is protected protected ka matlab kya hota hai ki mujhe jisko dikhana hai usko hi like we are going to use this protected more in your inheritance concept in detail so let's take an example of how you going to work on classes and objects in detail to yahan par hum log ne kya kiya hai hashtag include iostream likha hai fir hum log ne using namespace std diya hai fir hum log yahan par kya kiya class addition banaya hai aur uske andar integer a b c diya hai fir hum log ne yahan par kya kiya hai void get mein value of a b c get kiya hai void calculate mein hum log ne calculate kiya hai and void display mein hum log ne kya kiya c out mein wo value ko display kiya hai jaise c equal to a plus b kiya to c ka value hum log ne print kiya hai fir int mein hum log ne yahan par kya kiya addition 
add. So addition is the class name. And to define an object, that add a d d becomes my object name. So using the object, you can create and you can call the functions out in your main function. So that is what I told you. Objects can call attributes and it also can call your member function because it is an instance of a class, a copy of a class. So whatever is there in the class has one specified copy into the object. And using the object, we can call it outside the class. So, here we have made add here. Add dot get kiya to automatically get function call hoga. Add dot cal kiya to automatically cal function call hoga. Or add dot display kiya to automatically display function call hoga. So, if I compile and execute karti hoon, then I have a error. Why is it error? I have told you before that classes are always private in nature. So, when I say private in nature, it is not accessed outside its scope. So, if you want to make the, you know, object access the values in the main function, I am going to use a specifier which is called as your public specifier. So, we will do what we will do public denote. Karenge. Okay? Now, when I say public, it means that the whole code, hai, matlab, jo bhi values, hai, member functions hai, can be used outside the class also. So, we have done what public mentioned. So, when I say public, now if I save the file, compile and execute, then I get the output as enter the value of a and b, I enter the value as 10 and 20, automatically I get addition equal to 30. So, ye kaise ho sakta hai? this is just only really possible because of my function and the access specifier which is nothing but called as your public access specifier because classes are always private in nature. So, this is another example of how you are going to call uh, different functions using a class. Let's take another example of how you are going to take some string value and print the string value in detail. So, here we have kya kiya hai? Hashtag include io stream likha hai, using namespace std likha hai, but here we have class person liya hai. And here we have done kya kya? character name or int age liya hai. I want to find out the age and the name of the person. Here we have done age and name liya hai, usko we have defined nahi kiya. Matab, isko we have kya liya hai? Private liya hai. So within the class, within the member function, I can use the private members. So that is why usko private liya hai. Then we have done here kya kiya hai? Uh, void read mein, public mein void read mein hum log values ko calculate kiya aur void display mein hum log ne usko display kiya hai. Agar mujhe wohi call karna hai int way mein, to hum log ne person p likha, p dot read and p dot display and return zero kiya hai. So when I say read function, the automatically the value of the name and age is got and in display function we are printing. So after compiling and executing, I get the value as enter the value of person, I mean enter the name of the person and the age. So I say name is Vita and the age is 20, then automatically I get the value as Early time 20 in my output screen. So, this is an example to show you how you're going to call the function using an object. Let's take another example. The same example is being just uh, edited to show you much more in detail how you're going to work on the access specifier. For example, now we have a public access specifier. Hai, wo function read ko hi private bana diya. Aur wo read agar usko private bana diya, to of course I usko uh, main function mein call nahi kar sakti. So, what do you think about this? The display function is the display function is public. If it is the display function is public, then if you want to call the read function and run it and run it, you will see that there is an error. Why is this error coming? Because I have already said that the private members can call the private members. So, if you want to call the read function, then what can I do? 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 So, if I call the read function here, what is happening? Where is the scope in the class? So, even if it is private, the display function is public. So, the private members can be called in the public member derivation. So, here is the read function. What have I done? I have called the display function in the class. The display function is a public function. And using the display function, we can call the read function. So, this read function is nothing but called here internally. Call function within the nested function. One function can be called function. So, here we have person P and we have directly P dot display. So, once the P dot display calls, automatically it will first call the read function. It will get the values and then it is going to print the values. So, after compiling and executing this program, we get the output as. So, enter the name and age. So, I say name is Rita, age is 25. Automatically, I get the name is Rita and the age will be 25. So, I hope you understood the entire concept of what classes and objects and how you're going to use them in detail. So in the next session, we are going to work on the different types of functions with related to the classes. Thank you.